Hey everybody, this is Joe Kaplow here. Um, I got some inquiries online about uh, the song I said I was going and I went and how to play it. So I decided the easiest way to do that would be to make a little video and show y'all how to do it. Um, I'm not a very good guitar teacher. I used to do it for work and I stopped. Um, so <clears throat> I apologize for any like, if there's anything that's still unclear, just send me a message and I'd be happy to clear it up. Also, um, I don't make like instructional videos. This is the first one I've ever made, so I'm not gonna edit it. Um, and I just like, it's just super, super janky. So, um, but the information's there and that's what's important. So let me grab my guitar here. Um, the tuning, which is like kind of one of the main like characteristic, one of the main defining characteristics of this song sound, it's open B and I tune the A string down to an F sharp. So it's like from the bass string upwards, it's D, F sharp, D, F sharp, A, D. D, F sharp, D, F sharp, A. And that's the tuning. Um, it just, it's basically the same thing, like the same four chords and a little riff. I'll show you the riff. The riff is like this. Um, like, just I'll play it once through really quick. It's just. So that's, so what that is is this. It's the third fret on the F sharp string and you slide up to there and then you hit the open D string and then the open F sharp. And then you play this thing. This is like what I use as a G chord in most of the song. So it's the first fret here and the first fret, whoops, first fret here and the first fret here. You're turning both these F sharps into Gs, right? So it's like. And then this chord, this is just like a weird kind of A chord that I use for the riff, which is the second fret the third fret, and the second fret. So. Also, it sounds a little out of tune. I found that like, maybe it's just this guitar, but this like tuning is kind of low tension and it, it definitely messes with the intonation on like some guitars that I've played it on. So you just have to like bear with the kind of intonation problems it may cause. Anyway, so the riff is. Whoops. And then the chords are uh, B minor. I said I was go A and I went. So this B minor chord is just the, the fifth fret on this F sharp string, the fourth fret on the D string, and the fifth fret on this other F sharp string, B minor. I said I, and then you just slide that down two frets. I said I, that's an A chord, was going, and I went. And then right here, I play the D chord, but I play it with the third fret. So you're kind of making it like the standard open D tuning here. Said I was going, and I went, and the little ref, do dum bam Scariest thing that I've done yet And then this G chord But after all So that's just, again, that's the first fret here And the first fret here And after all Ain't it just about that I said I was going and I went Little riff Whoops. And the world's an empty house With all the lights on, no one around 
So you go through the fridge. So this is a little bit different. You just like stay on this G chord instead of going after all, ain't it just about that? You just go, you stuck on the fridge and you sleep on the couch. Leave the door open on your way out. And then this little riff. And then you're pretty much cruising um, until the bridge, it goes to A. And I came to the end of the road. So basically that there was no fanfare blowing me home. And then F sharp, er, no, not F sharp. And then the A chord again. I came to life like a runaway child at the door. Let me in, let me in, it's so cold. And then this chord, which is actually an A flat minor 7 flat 5, but in folk music it's just, Second fret, second fret. You just go second fret on this string, second fret on this string, second fret on the eight on the on the F sharp string, second fret on the D string. It's so cold. That's my favorite part of the song. Um, Travis Gibbs killed it. Uh, yeah, and then pretty much from there. Pretty much from there, you're just cruising um, with a little bit more, you know, rock in it. Can't wait to scrub the floor. Yeah, so that's so that's pretty much it. Um, I think you could just like just play along with it. You use like intuition to to figure out the rest of it, um, or you know, to figure out like you know like the little changes you know there's like little tiny changes like in the in the before the bridge i'm playing the full riff in between the verses and after the bridge like the riff is shortened um i don't know why that happened it just happened but he, he, it's pretty much like subtractive from this point everything i've showed you is everything you need to know and then you can just like pull out things that happen later in the song um but that's pretty much it and if you have any like i said if anything's unclear, if you have any questions, just DM me or, or post it in the comments and I will clear it up. But again, I'm really thankful, really stoked that, that people are enjoying this song and want to play it. And uh, yeah, man, send me your videos. You probably sing it better than me. Um, see ya.